what you did, and we understand it was a business decision. But all he's saying is, one, y'all went too far with it, and two, who are these guys oh, that uh, are talking about it? Just as a journalist, Marcellus, yeah. sometimes the only way to get the truth out is to grant somebody some anonymity. Yeah, that's real. I Th that's the that. only way as a journalist. And so I'm sure Mike Silver's in there and like he wants to reflect what the actual thoughts are in that locker room. And the guy in that locker room was like, man, I don't want to put my name on it. But so why say it? The guy in the locker room? Thank you. Okay. Man, you don't you shut that's your what mouth. He thinks. Well, it don't they, matter. Well, you shut it. your mouth because you always in, in this profession and in sport, you have to always put yourself. I, I never like to show up my quarterback. The reason why, I felt like I was very confident in what my abilities were and what I was going to be able to do on the football field. But there would come a time where I would drop a ball. And I knew that that was going to happen over the term of my career. So I never wanted to show my quarterback up every blue moon when the ball was not where I wanted it to be because there will come a time when it's my turn to be looked at like, what now? And that's all I'm saying. When, when you have an anonymous person in-house... In it's just like somebody in here saying something about you. You would have a problem with it. Hey, with yeah, I really would. would. You yeah. guys are you guys you guys are really sensitive, right? Now. Hold on, you, you guys can't are say really I'm sensitive. You are you guys on anything. Twitter? Are you guys on Twitter? Yes, I am. You know what trolls are, right? Oh yeah, I love okay, I'm, a, I'm a troll. I, energy man. So you'll go out there and you be like, oh, nice, nice suit, uh, Whitlock, or you yeah. look like a fool, yeah. whatever it is. Why? Why would you? So people are going to do that. People are going to talk trash in your own family. He said, my family, we don't do. I got a couple people in my family that might say a little something behind my back. Nothing wrong with it doesn't mean I don't love it. Tony, you know the I don't have a I'm room. just saying get over it. And you go can't play say that to this side of the table. First of all, no, this is consecutive you. days. We had this divide. <laughs> we can keep this rolling. This is a dude <laughs> who retired and put his name on his criticism of his former quarterback. Absolutely. I mean, he didn't hide. He didn't say anonymous teammate of Aaron Rodgers. He I'm went not, hold, to on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I got a cookie. Let me give it to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me get that. Let me get that. Uh, you know we're not going to fight over the cookies. You better <laughs> <laughs> not. Not say, hey, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying I would never do that. But at the same time, if somebody does that to me, I don't have to read the trolls. I don't have to feed into the negativity, the energy vampire who is that. I, maybe it's Aaron Rodgers. Rogers. It could it's, even be Aaron Rodgers. Him and Silver are friends. Uh, uh, they both went to Berkeley. We all went. To, I used to have a good relationship with Silver because of the here. Berkeley connection. Yeah. I'm not saying it is Aaron Rodgers, but I'm just saying I don't care. I'm going to keep doing my job. I'm going to own up to it, and I'm moving on for the betterment of the team. Because and, now you're 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 saying this divisive stuff right now. And so now, when the team comes back on Wednesday, to, Tuesday's the day off. There's going to be another round of questions. Now, what did you think about what? Uh, Ty Montgomery had to say. What's your response to that? And if he had just swallowed it and eaten it and taken responsibility, the story goes away. He gave the story new life and new energy. And again, I'm tired of athletes. In sports, there are no victims. There's only men responsible for their actions. I agree with and, that. And for these I, guys, I agree for with this that part. whole, oh my God, my teammates now, I don't trust them anymore. Well, do they trust you to do the right thing at crunch time? That's the question. All this little talking behind each other's back, that doesn't win or lose football games. Your actions on the field, whether they can trust you at game time when between the lines, that's what matters what most. What parallel universe are you living in where you thought that they were going to show up on Wednesday and all things were just going to be status quo? Hold on. Two if he ends it, two of y'all already sold out it. one of your teammates. Thank and, you. and, and even if I'm not one of those two or I'm not Ty Montgomery, I'm sitting there like, who's selling people out around these parts? Because guess what? Next weekend, we somebody's going to... We got the tape. Some Todd Montgomery <laughs> did. But somebody's going to make the mistake <laughs> next weekend. And guess what? When Crosby missed all those kicks, imagine anonymous players were sitting there saying, cut the dude, uh, go after him, or what? You know what? He wasn't That's even more focused. Understandable. He wasn't even focused That's the night before. That's more understandable. If he had on, dropped man. the ball in the end zone, and fall, people would have... That's understandable. Those mistakes happen. We're talking about a decision and where the motives have to be questioned. I don't blame his teammates for doing that. And, wow. and, and again, mm. I think wow. it comes... And you my teammate? Wow. Man, we're locked. For coming out of the end zone today. Wow. Y'all act like y'all never seen anybody do something selfish in a football game. And you act like you don't say... Everything that you've had to say about me, praise or criticism, has come from you directly, whether it's text, conversation. You have never went around the corner and said, oh, it's not from Whitlock, but guess what? 
And it's coming from Whitlock. And that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't believe in anonymous sources as it relates okay. to me because I want credit for everything that I say. <laughs> go, go, <laughs> go, going forward, what they need to do, if I'm Mike McCarthy, how do you fix this? You have Ty Montgomery. I, if, I were, if I was Ty, I would want to go up in front of that locker room with my teammates and address them and be like, look, maybe some of you guys said some stuff. And, 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 but if not, I'm willing to let it go. I, I screwed up too. Let's just move on because we got a long season ahead of us. We got a really good football team. We got a big game coming up Sunday night. I'm just saying I would put. Let me this tell you how bed. Mike I'd McCarthy. Let me tell you how Mike Stop. McCarthy just put it to Stop. bed. Let me tell you how Mike no. McCarthy just put it to bed. Cut him, right? No, he just got traded to the Ravens. They've put it to bed. Ty Montgomery handled New this poorly. New he threw gas on. on the fire yesterday, yeah. and they moved on Stay from go. it. He went and attacked his teammates Stay and questioned them. The Packers agree with me. Tony Gonzalez agrees with me. The dude handled this horribly, and they had to move on from it. Man, that's sad. I wanted it what is, Tony man. said. It, I wanted him to go to the front of the room, and I wanted Mike McCarthy to say, hey, we a real team right here. And whoever Who are those said, two anonymous hey, dudes? Come up here too. Bring your butt up here, too, and let's talk this through. Regardless, hey, let me ask y'all something. Let yeah. me ask y'all something. Now we still something. got an issue. Yeah, we still got We still got two snitches up in here, homie. Two snitches. And you, can, snitches. You, can win, you can win with snitches. You can't win with people making terrible decisions, selfish decisions on a football game at the end of the game when you got Aaron Rodgers. Uh, but did he get traded because of the fumble or did he get traded because of the way he re uh, reacted? The cover-up is always worse than the crime. Yeah. The cover is <laughs> always think, worse than I the crime. If he come both. out and say that, then I think he'd still be on that team right now. Uh, but he shouldn't have responded that way. I wouldn't have responded that way. But, uh, guys, I, I don't like right. I don't like it, but I'm yeah. not in charge. I mean, it, it, it's funny to me how, how we give passes to certain players because what they've done in the past was more than enough. Mason Crosby got a huge pass because he had a hey. bad day. And he acknowledged it, and he's a Pro Bowl number player. He's not third no, string. I, you're making this point. The, and thank you. <laughs> There's no way point. to not acknowledge it because nobody came out and said, Mason lost the game for us. And they should have because he Mason did. Because Mason <laughs> said it. He, he didn't need anybody else to Ty say Ty Montgomery, it. he didn't even get a chance to say it. Because he, he ran home and ducked no, the media it, after the game. It wasn't, that, it wasn't just that he ran home and ducked the media. Even if, if, if no one ever said anything, I think he handles this completely different because now he has nothing to talk about about internal divisiveness of guys not trusting one another in-house. Or look, selling out his coach look, we know didn't tell him to look, stay in the end zone in the first place. This is place. happening live. Ian Rappaport just reported he's been oh, traded to the Ravens. I guarantee you, this is my journalistic instincts, I guarantee you Ty Montgomery asked to be traded as well. He wanted out of there. Because he not man enough to be accountable for his actions and instead of dealing with that situation, instead of going to his teammates face to face, you got a problem with me? He wants to go into the media and throw gas on this situation rather than take responsibility for a dumb decision. Mm. You guys you guys do acknowledge that Mason Crosby did come out afterwards yeah, yeah, and yeah, say, yeah. I lost the game. I Absolutely. love that. It's all on me. I love that. And I think we, we probably all have done that too. We oh, messed yeah. up in games. But, but, like, hey, but put that you, on me. You know, you he should have did that. You yeah. know what allows him to do that? Even more so, and I think he would have done it e either way because Mason, that's just who he is. But when his quarterback hmm. comes up to him after the game, yeah. after he makes that kick, the last kick, where his coach then allows him to kick a field goal because he knows I'm going to need him later on, he allows him that opportunity to make it right. Then his quarterback, the leader of that team, comes and embraces him. Mm. It's all good, man. Like, you had a bad day. Did that? Did Ty Montgomery feel that same respect? What did he do? What did he do when he, right. when he fumbled it? He, was like, see, because see, because he, he looked took, at another player and was like, this fool. I mean, come on, Aaron Rodgers. He took the ball out of Aaron Rodgers' hand. Aaron Rodgers ain't supposed to go over there and comfort him. He's supposed to look at him like, man, you crazy. Mm. That was a crazy decision. We got to move on. That's what he I'm do. right. <laughs> Just like <laughs> I knew I was right. He's out of there. <laughs> Stick around later in the show. We'll give you our approval ratings for Ty Montgomery and see how much this weekend's disaster has hurt him. A hundred. Also coming up, we've seen a couple of big moves in the NFL today. We'll tell you who made the most of today's trade deadline. There's free tie. Free tie.